hello guys welcome back to another vlog um i didn't really plan to make a vlog today that's why i didn't show you all the process of me getting ready to go and attend my friend's funeral the thing is it was just like a last minute thought and i decided to you know you know what this is a very hard time for everybody but i would like to keep this for memory's sake so guys permit me to just you know talk over this vlog mass like this because guys it's just been an emotional roller coaster for me and it's 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 hard well i just had to document it so guys we're driving down to the cemetery it's a very short service because my friend was really young and when a young person dies you know it's not something to celebrate but in honor of my friend for her life and how she impacted me and everybody who knows her I believe and I know she's worth celebrating. She was a very good and kind soul, a giver, a lover, a good yoga teacher, a friend, a sister, a daughter. She was just a lot of things and, you know, it's hard. So, guys, this very point, there was like no need to do makeup. I just sprayed some water on my hair and... The weather has been so dry, so I try so much to moisturize my skin so that my skin is not that bad and all that. So, guys, we are almost approaching the cemetery, and it was, you know, um, supposed to be for 9 o'clock. It was for 9 o'clock, but there were some issues at the morgue, so it was now finally moved to 10. So, here I am with some of my friends and my colleagues and those that know Selma at the cemetery I was waiting so I just had to capture a mo the moment and just see it because I know by the time they arrive we would not have time to do that and after that the her corpse arrived her sister was in the car and it was time for us to move to the the site because it was just supposed to be a small prayer uh, prayers and then time to lay her to rest so guys here we are we are all walking down to the side and now guys we finally arrived at this particular point the pastor uh, was praying i'm sorry was preaching from um he was reading a text from the book of philippians and he was asking us that sometimes to be uh, dead in christ is better to be alive and he encouraged us and Selma's family, those that were mourning her, to be strong. And it was a very short session. And before you knew, they this were taking is, her. It's just really, the, you know, quite tight. And it's not a place where you so can be they jumping were taking up her and to down. The place, so guys, place after the parade, and we all were leaning her to rest. Because you know, the finality, the the whole realization that this person. Is no longer going to be here. It was just really sad. You can see from the air and the environment everywhere was just. It was just really sad. But then, my friend was really ill, and so I know she's in a better place. There's no more pain. There's no more suffering. She's now at peace. After the whole, we stayed to the end, and a rig was placed on her, on her on the side and then we had to you know start moving we left and at this particular point we all gathered you know we took some pictures and we also you know just to for memory's sake people were really sad and nobody was really in the mood to talk or in the mood to do anything but you know when things like this happen everybody kind of understand each other so we kind of understood what everyone was going through Guys, after we after the whole thing was done, we planned. Some of us, we went to see Selma's family, especially her mom. We went to see her mom and her siblings. After we took pictures and everything, it was just time for us to go and see the mom because her mom is the one that is bearing all this. It's hard. And so, guys, thank you for sticking to the end of this vlog. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.